Alabama State Senate just tried to sneak through one of the most insane, draconian, and brazenly unconstitutional anti-abortion laws yet. And we all know that this week, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signed, I believe, the fourth heartbeat bill in the nation into law. So they're getting more and more extreme. But what they introduced and tried to push through in the Alabama State Senate is bananas. So as Arlen Parsa explains, this bill that they're trying to push would make nearly all abortions a felony, punishable up to 99 years in prison. So, I mean, what we're seeing here is them basically trying to emulate the theocratic regimes in the Middle East. So this is them living up to the expectations of the religious extremists in the TV show, The Handmaid's Tale. And if you haven't watched it, basically, it's a show about what would happen if Mike Pence was a dictator and was able to implement whatever he wanted in the United States. That's basically what the show is about in a nutshell. And we're kind of seeing that play out here. Now, what's crazy about this is not only does it demonstrate how tyrannical the Republican Party is becoming, but they tried to pass this without even holding a roll call vote. So, I mean, when they tried to push this through, you're going to see, I'm going to play you a video here, where the other lawmakers were like, what are you doing? Wait, stop. You, you can't do this. So, take a look because shit got crazy. That is just unreal. Now, thankfully, the bill was delayed. If I had to guess, I'd say it probably will ultimately end up passing. And they're just completely at this point disregarding the Constitution, disregarding Supreme Court precedent, disregarding Roe and Casey. They don't care because they are trying to provoke a constitutional challenge. That's what they want because they ultimately would like to see Roe v. Wade overturn. This is what they're doing. I've talked about this in the video that I made about Brian Kemp signing the heartbeat bill into law. And this is what states across the country are trying to do, which is why we're seeing so many heartbeat bills pop up. Now, with the Georgia law, where he essentially signed a bill into law, Brian Kemp, that is, that effectively banned abortions after six weeks. Think about how insane that is. Just step back and think about that. So if you are two weeks late on your period and you're a woman, you can't have an abortion. How bizarre is that? How insane is that? It is a fetus that has not developed a nervous system, is not capable of feeling pain, is not viable outside of the womb, 
and a woman may not even know she's pregnant, but it's already too late for her to have an abortion. That is fucking insane. It's insane. And anytime I post one of these videos, I love how the conservatives always comment saying, oh, well, you're just a baby killer, Mike. Oh, okay, so you're pro-life and you have more credibility, right? So why aren't you screeching about the bombs that we're giving to Saudi Arabia to drop on babies in Yemen? That's okay, right? So I think that what you need to understand if you aren't able to fathom why liberals don't like this and think that you're a hypocrite is because you have no problem when Donald Trump murders babies and children in the Middle East and North Africa and drones them, but when it comes to fetuses, that's what you would care about. So maybe if you were more consistent in your quote-unquote pro-life position, people would actually take you more seriously. But because you're an idiot and you were duped by what is obviously a wedge issue, an, uh, an issue that Republicans are trying to exploit, well, you think we're the baby killers. No, motherfucker, you're the baby killers. Stop voting for baby killers like Donald Trump, who's dropping bombs on the Middle East and North Africa, who killed an American girl in his very first military raid that he botched. He's currently loosening the restrictions on the rules of war so they don't have to worry about killing innocent civilians. And you're going to care about undeveloped babies? You're going to talk about fetuses? Get the fuck out of here. I mean, the hypocrisy from the right is mind-boggling to me. If you're pro-life, you've got to be consistent, buddy. Otherwise, you don't get to call yourself pro-life. Ben Shapiro will rant and rave about this and how this is the moral thing to do. Meanwhile, I'll go back to 2002. He has articles where he literally talks about not giving a shit about civilians that are being killed. Now, he'll say, you know, I was young, I was naive, and I've since moved away from that. Well, you still like wars. You still support every single war, so you don't get to call yourself pro-life and support wars, or at least remain silent when it comes to wars, or even if you're not as equally outraged about wars, because I would just respectfully disagree with you if you didn't support abortion, but you were at least consistent in your view, and you also rejected wars, but conservatives don't do that. They don't do that, and then they have the nerve to call liberals baby killers. So this is just infuriating, and we all know why they're doing it. This is about the end game. They want Roe v. Wade overturned, and this is just a means to an end. They know that these policies can't stand because they're against the Constitution, but their goal is to change that permanently.